it's back. If you thought the waterfall was dead, well, I kind of did too. Now, if you're making decisions in the face of uncertainty, you got two choices. Get lucky or iterate. But somehow, somehow that message has gotten lost. Somehow, there's a generation that uh, believes that you set the vision and then you figure out your strategy and then you figure out what product's going to deliver on that strategy and then you figure out what it looks like and then you implement it. And there you go. The this, this sequence uh, looks real familiar to me. Uh, analysis, design, implementation. Now the programmers do all the testing. You're welcome. So, take it from an old guy. This doesn't work. But I think I can finally explain why the this and then that and then that and then that happens. So, here's how I think about it. At the beginning of a project, you have all these uncertain decisions. In other words... A bunch of stuff is, to put it technically, wiggly. So all of these decisions at all these different scales, they're, they're all wiggly. You, you can't guess and be right any more about vision than you can about the implementation. So uh, at the same time, you can't live with rapidly evolving visions for very long. I, I worked on that project where the vision changed once a week, and you can't really make any progress. But So you have to refine the vision early, but you can't do it without feedback from the rest of these activities. So here you are. You're, uh, you're iterating rapidly. You're building little things. You're trying them out. You're, you're iterating on the vision. Where iterating on the vision doesn't mean wordsmithing. It means actually trying stuff out and seeing how real users really behave. And eventually, you come to something which is, to put it technically, stabler. Not Kenny the Snake Stabler, the quarterback for the Oakland Raiders, but uh, slightly less wiggly. Now, it may not change and uh, punctuated e equilibrium and all that stuff, but now you have a vision that you have confidence in because you've tested it. Now you're ready to move to the next uh, scale down of decisions, like what's the business strategy? What are the gazintas and giz out is? What do the costs look like? Where's the revenue coming from? Who's going to pay? And again, you can't guess and be right at this, so you have to iterate uh, a little bit on all of the uh, all the other activities to inform that decision that you've made, and then remake and remake about strategy. Once again, you can't live with strategy being completely floppy forever, so this iteration process eventually comes to a strategy that's stabler. Now, the decision about product. Is this a bot? Is this a VR uh, 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 space? Is it an app? Blah, blah, blah. You, you got to figure that out, but the only way you're going to figure that out is by trying out a bunch of stuff, and eventually the product also becomes stabler. Now, even design and engineering need to iterate for a while because some designs are 10 times easier to implement than other designs, and you don't have any intuition about that until you have some experience. So these guys are going to iterate for a while, and then the design is going to move to the stabler part, and then you're going to implement some, some more stuff. And then you have a project that's concave. You've made a bunch of progress. You have a lot to lose, but you, you can still make solid gains. Now I think I can explain why we replace this uh, gr gradual uh, uh, ch change from uh, wiggliness to stability with this illusion of sequence. And here's how, here's how I think that works. So we have, uh, we have the vision, the strategy, the product, the design, and the engineering here. And if we look at the wiggliness over time, the vision wiggles a lot early days, but then it settles down. 
the strategy wiggles a lot f at first too, but then it settles down. The product decisions take a little bit longer to settle down. The design takes even longer to settle down, and the engineering takes the longest to settle down. Now, this is a stressful part of the game when everything's in flux, and nobody wants to remember how close you came to death. So instead, our brains give us some uh, helpful shortcut. We say, well, there's a date when the vision kind of settled down here. In, in, in uh, January, the vision settled down, and in February, the strategy settled down, and in March, the product settled down, and in April, the design settled down, and in May, the engineering settled down. And our brains, to, to just to avoid the, the cognitive dissonance of, of how risky everything was, just kind of blocks out the memory of all that wiggliness. And now we have a sequence. We say, oh, well, we did the vision in January and the strategy in February and the product. And we forget that each of those decisions, the, the settling down, the stability of those, stabilizing of those decisions, was informed by activities uh, from for all, all the other activities, iterations on all the other activities. And so this becomes the sequence in which things were done, not the, just the sequence in which they stabilized. Lo and behold, we're back to the waterfall, and people look to the next project and think, well, we'll do the vision first, and then the strategy, and then the product, then the design, and then the engineering. But the fact is that... All these decisions in the early days are all uncertain. If they're uncertain, either you get lucky or you iterate, and uh, I'm putting my money on iteration. So waterfall's back, but we can fight it off. Talk to you soon.